and welcome to Garrock Farms. It's day number two of chopping hay. Yesterday was a big day for us. We did about 14 acres of hay. We got a bunch cut and uh, we got a good start to the pile. And uh, today we got about 28 acres to chop. So double the amount of acres to chop, but uh, we got most of the extra stuff out of the way. And uh, we should be able to start here nice and early. The weather's right for it. So everything's gonna work out nice. At least it's starting to shape up that way. My brother, he's out cutting right now. We just got done with chores this morning. I hauled a couple loads of manure as well, cleaned out some of the buildings and um, spread it out on those fields up there that we just got done chopping. I'm gonna pack a little here right away on the pile just to kind of firm things up and um, give us a nice pile to start on right away. But before we get started, I wanna remind you guys that if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. It helps us out a lot. A majority of the people that watch haven't subscribed yet, so hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of us, and uh, also hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy. forget I wanted to let you guys know that we have a drone coming out here today so we should get some really nice footage of the chopper going he'll be out here later this afternoon and if you guys were looking for some drone work I'll uh, link them down below if you're at all in the western Wisconsin type region eastern Minnesota I'd uh, go check them out if you're interested in some photography or some drone work they're a really nice couple that does everything from portrait photos to drone work so go check them out Making good progress raking and 
And uh, we're on to the last field now, which is a pretty good feeling. Everything went good for my brother when he was cutting. But we're moving on to the last field now, and everything's been going great. Nothing to complain about. chopper and then the next wagon is headed up on the hill right now we're gonna haul with two tractors today we're gonna haul with the 7405 and the 7510 since there's such a distance this time compared to the day before we're gonna have two tractors in the mix to keep up the sun's out and you can feel it it's just it's drying fast it's cooking out here so things are gonna start moving here real fast gonna stage the wagon here and we're gonna swap tractors back and forth I think I'll hang out on the pile for now try to make sure we got a nice base and everything's laid out right then my brother he'll just have to haul loads then he won't have to worry about messing with the pile we'll check back in a little later on in the day and let you know how things are going well, I don't know if you guys have noticed but the 7405 got a little bit of an upgrade it's got some extra wheel weights now they uh, picked that up about a month ago at a at a local junkyard. We were getting parts for that older baler of ours and uh, found a set of weights there. I'd say for doing work like this, hauling loads and uh, coming down off the hills, you can notice that you got some extra weight there. You don't seem to get as pushed as easy now as we did before. I don't know if we'll keep them on all year, but they're nice for things like this. So we're on load number seven. Everything's been going fairly good so far. No uh, breakdowns or anything yet. I did notice uh, a minor issue with this little silver box we got. The belt, it's kind of like a snowmobile where it's a belt with grooves and then it's a clutch mechanism. Well, I got caught in the clutch mechanism and took a chunk out of those, those grooves in that belt, but it still runs fine. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. But anyways, the man with the drone showed up and super excited for that. So we're gonna cut some of that footage 
Hope you guys enjoy that.
the choppers down here in the yard, everything went good today. We're just putting the finishing touches on the pile now, getting her all packed down and ready to go for corn silage in a couple weeks. We'll uh, cover it tonight, and then we'll have to open it back up when we uh, go to put corn silage on it. All we gotta do yet tonight is uh, finish packing here, cover the pile, and then uh, get chores started. But anyways, wanted to thank all of you for watching. If you want to see more of us, check us out on our social media pages like Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, all at Garrock Farms. And then uh, if any of you ever wanted to send us some mail, you can send it to our PO box. All the details to that stuff are um, down in the description. But thank you to all of you who stuck around to the end. We really appreciate it. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video.